we, we reformed, uh, well, we formed uh, Trade Union Friends of Vietnam because the trade union movement in Britain had done so much in the 70s. Uh, when our Vietnamese comrades wanted certain things, I, I seem to remember it was mainly blood and bicycles at the time. There was a great response from our movement. And as soon as they had their great victory, it seems as though a lot of the contacts ended. And I, I think Victoria's uh, contribution has helped us to recognise that there really is a need for us to uh, rebuild those links and those contacts. So, so thanks very much for that. Trade Union Movement's done a heck of a lot since uh, the 70s, and it, it was a great pleasure and an honour now just to introduce Tang to start off the discussion about what the Trade Union Movement is doing in Vietnam. So welcome, Tang. Và người mà cách đây mấy tháng tôi có gặp và tiếp xúc ở Việt Nam và Xin cảm ơn uh, hội để tổ chức uh, người bạn của Việt Nam trong công đoàn đã tạo điều kiện cho chúng tôi uh, có một cái buổi tiếp xúc ngày hôm nay So first of all, I'd like to express my deepest thanks to the Australian friends of Vietnam uh, um, Brother Doug and also uh, to our old friend, Brother Landis, from the uh, uh, Britain Vietnam um, uh, Friendships uh, Society, Sorry. and uh, for uh, enabling us uh, to be here today and for your invitation to this very uh, uh, interesting meeting. And I'd like to thank uh, Sister uh, Victoria Britton uh, for sharing your own story. <coughs> and I think that is a very good example for uh, the images of the uh, British friends uh, who are supporting us during the war time. And, uh, <coughs> uh, and also, I would like, um, on behalf of the uh, Vietnamese people as well as the Vietnamese trade union, uh, to thank you very much for your continuing support. <coughs> và cũng như đúng như là chị đã nói có thể nói là cái uh, di chứng hậu quả so uh, as the <coughs> Victoria shared you before that millions of uh, Vietnamese people soldiers are affected uh, in the war time with the uh, defoliants and Agent Orange and when they come back to uh, normal life of, uh, when they after the reunification and many of those uh, want to have their own happiness, uh, to have their uh, own some small families, and many of those cannot have kids, and those who have kids are also have a deformed uh, uh, kids and uh, cannot have a full happiness of the of a, a normal people. Uh, you may hear before about some village with very nice name, like Friendship Village, or Peace Village, a uh, very beautiful name, but are, are maintaining uh, inside those uh, kids or are, 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 um, kids of the are veterans, uh, of the also normal people uh, who fathers affected by the uh, defoliants, Agent Orange, and uh, are in very uh, severe circumstance and uh, are, are holding uh, inside those nice named village a uh, very big pain uh, for many people. tổ chức hữu nghị của Việt Nam cũng như là And uh, as uh, I also very uh, share with uh, what uh, Victoria just uh, uh, said that um, uh, so far uh, no official apology has been spoken by the U.S. government to. Uh, the uh, for the the crime that they have uh, uh, done in in Vietnam and uh, to the victims <coughs> of uh, the war, uh, the victim or Agent Orange have done signed in Vietnam, and only very few projects now just uh, started uh, for uh, clean up the uh, airport, uh, the the air base, U.S. air base, or uh, some uh, project for sweeping the the mines and <coughs> remain in. Uh, landfills, and um, uh, there are still uh, some new place, new area that just uh, discovered that <coughs> the U.S. military have uh, buried the barrels that they use uh, uh, to con for, uh, contain the, 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 the um, chemicals 
have been buried out in underground, but they really forgot it, forgot already, but just uh, uh, discovered. And nhiều uh, tổ chức hữu nghị ở bên thế giới, trong đó thì có tổ chức đặc biệt này. And, uh, as uh, you know that in uh, all over the world there's a lot of uh, peace loving organizations or movement uh, including the uh, um, Britain Vietnam uh, the friendship society uh, who are, are supporting and um, supporting very much in our struggle uh, to demand the uh, justice uh, for uh, the victims of uh, a dance sign or Agent Orange in Vietnam and um, we would like to thank you very much and uh, I believe that uh, in the next few days in, in uh, during the TUC Congress we also will see a lot of uh, uh, friends, uh, the, the, the trade union friends um, who are supporting us in the world time and continuing their support uh, in, uh, in daytime and present in the future and we strongly believe that the relationship between the Vietnamese trade union uh, and British trade union movement in particular and the people of the two countries in general will be strengthened uh, in the future. Thank you very much. Chắc và cũng nhân dịp này thì chúng tôi cũng xin giới thiệu rất là tóm tắt cái tình hình về tổ chức công đoàn chúng tôi từ khi đất nước đặc biệt là từ khi đất nước thống nhất đến nay và những cái vấn đề trước mắt của công đoàn Việt Nam thì tôi sẽ xin nhường lời cho Mr. Hiếu, chuyên viên ban đối ngoại sẽ có thì uh, trình bày với tất cả quý vị. So as uh, the the theme of our of our meeting today is Vietnam today, so I do not uh, come back to uh, too much to, to the history. Uh, we uh, would like to briefly introduce about the uh, trade union movement in Vietnam, and so uh, I would like to uh, um, ask Brother Hill uh, to deliver the, 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 so some kind of uh, some information so that we do not need to work with the interpretation. Um, for for the trade union in Vietnam, I would like to uh, share with you that uh, we have been established uh, in July 1929 and uh, firstly called the Tonkin, uh, Tonkin Red Federation of Trade Unions. And uh, so this year we celebrate the uh, 83rd year of the founding, uh, founding anniversary. And uh, we uh, have gone a long way since then and are proud of uh, our trade union history through taking part in struggle for national uh, independence uh, during the two resistance against French and, and uh, American invasion for national liberation. Uh, the reunification and reconstruction of the country. Uh, today, uh, uh, we currently name Vietnam General Confederation of Labor in short of VGCL, and it is the national center of Vietnamese trade union, uh, representing workers of all economic sectors in Vietnam with a membership of more than 7.7 .7 million in 20 national industrial unions and 63 provincial federation of labor. Uh, this uh, data of, uh, uh, the updated data is of June of 2012. And um, um, more than 20 years ago, uh, the country embarked on a market economy with development of various economic sectors, including a uh, foreign invested one. Since then, the trade union movement is facing uh, such huge new challenges. As uh, you could be aware, the integration into the global economy brings a lot of opportunities and at the same time a lot of problems uh, for Vietnam. And the most important duty of the Vietnamese trade unions nowadays is an, in a new labor relation framework is to uh, represent uh, the workers' rights and interests. We are focusing on organizing workers, especially in private and foreign enterprise. Uh, strengthening grassroots unions, uh, the workplace unions, through collective bargaining and through collective bargaining agreements. And we also take part in lawmaking, especially labor and trade union laws. Recruiting, uh, we also set out a, a target to recruit 1.5 million new members in the period of 2008 and 2013. And I'm 
happy to tell you that uh, so far we have succeeded in uh, this uh, target and um, we strongly believe that uh, with the long history of the trade unionism uh, and struggle for workers' interest, uh, the British trade union movement will continue displaying the solidarity and uh, sharing with us your valuable experience. And concerning the law uh, making process participation, uh, since 2009, the VGCL has actively involved in uh, the debate in revising the labor code and the trade union law to make sure that uh, workers' rights and interests are protected and promoted. And uh, I, I must tell you that it is a really a debate and really a, a, a struggle of the trade union movement uh, to protect the, the uh, rights that we have gained and also uh, to uh, give some more uh, um, uh, standards and, and, and benefits for uh, our fellow workers in Vietnam. And both, law, both, um, both laws have just been passed last June, very uh, recently, and resulting in some new change. And uh, I would like to briefly introduce some, like uh, in the revised uh, labor code, the, uh, we, uh, <coughs> before we just have the um, uh, workplace union uh, level CBA, the uh, collective bargaining agreement, and now we are in the new labor code, we are um, also define the industrial level, we would like to make an industrial level CBA and to be developed and signed. And um, uh, also we have a clearer definition in minimum wage, uh, before uh, it, 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 the minimum wage now is defined as the lowest rate that is paid to the employee who perform the simplest work in the normal working conditions that must ensure the minimal living needs of the workers and their families, which is very important things that we need to be uh, included in, 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 in the labor code, that is also they are taking care of the family needs, not only the workers. And uh, the probation salary has just increased from 70% in the, the, the old labor code to 85% of the official salary. So for those who in probation period they have a higher percentage of the uh, of, uh, from 70 to 85 uh, uh, percent of the number which and the overtime hours uh, should not exceed uh, 30 hours in a month and and the total of um, overtime hours not more than 200 hours in a year which also uh, require a lot of efforts for us <coughs> to protect it uh, because there's a lot of uh, uh, proposal or ideas from the employer side to increase the overtime hours uh, up to four, uh, even four, five hundred, but we still keep it at two hundred hours you know, per year, uh, which is uh, really a success in in in, in uh, uh, our um, lawmaking um, process in, uh, participation. And also we have uh, one more public uh, holiday for Lunar New Year. So we before we have four holidays for Lunar New Year, now we have five. And uh, I think um, also one new thing is uh, regarding the maternity leave. Uh, we, uh, the time of the female employees entitled to take leave before and after birth is six months uh, instead of four months like before. So we have two months uh, full paid uh, uh, maternity leave more. And um, also uh, regarding maternity leave, we have uh, also some are uh, like um, uh, those who, who um, uh, the, the, if uh, they um, if for example, uh, if the, 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 the mother after giving birth after four months taking uh, the maternity leave for, after four months, then she can go back to work. But uh, for the last two months, because she had entitled it is entitled for six months maternity leave. For, so for the last two months, she at the same time uh, have uh, can receive the uh, salary and at the same time receive the allowance from the social insurance fund. Uh, so it can um, so it's at their choice that they can uh, decide after four months they can go back to work, but then can enjoy the two of the allowance and at the same time the salary. Um, and um, 
Also, in the revised uh, labor, uh, the, uh, the revised trade union law, uh, we also um, have uh, some new articles like uh, the right of the workers for information access uh, and in to enjoy the legal system have been legalized before. It's not legalized uh, in, in, in it's not in the law that the workers can access the information of the company or, or it's, it's not official. It's not legalized, but now we have that. Uh, right uh, for the workers and um, also we have better protection uh, mechanism for the trade unionists uh, it means that the trade unionists is, uh, is immune for being fight uh, until end of their trade union tenure uh, trade union um, terms and uh, so uh, and um, also, uh, they, they, they are also immune of uh, rotation or um, changing their job during their uh, tenure of their uh, working uh, for, for the training officers. And uh, that's some. Uh, we also bring a, a set of the labor code and uh, the training law in, in also in English. That, for your reference, if you want to share, it, uh, we can uh, also bring it uh, together with us. But uh, with these uh, some uh, information, we hope that we will have stronger tools to fulfill our tasks and functions of the Vietnamese trade union organization in our cause of protecting legit legit legitimate rights and interests of Vietnamese workers and contribute to the development of our country. And uh, we highly appreciate your ongoing and future support and assistance to improve the uh, capacity of our trade unionists in Vietnam and at the same time to strengthen the French friendship and cooperation between Vietnamese and British unions at the uh, national center levels as well as uh, industrial and sectoral level and um, so that's some brief information that we would like to share with you uh, some of our success in, um, in, in, in uh, with our new law and um, also uh, finally, wish you all good health and success, and uh, we wish to. Uh, we are very ready to share with you more if you have any questions. <coughs> yeah. More than happy. To have you.